Hey, what is up, Cheesecake Nation? It is your old pal, Super Chudge Funk, blasting at ya. And holy cow, this is a uh, review I've been wanting to do for a really long time. It is, as you can see, a Ninja Turtles review, but not just any Ninja Turtles. These are the cave turtle toys from the early 90s. And as you can see, that not, not only are the Ninja Turtles dressed as uh, cavemen, but they each have their own individual dinosaur. But these were literally my two favorite things when I was little, combined into one. Um, I had uh, these three turtles growing up. I never got a chance to get Raph, because for some reason Raphael was always really hard to find. And I actually saw my original turtles, you know, <laughs> Leonardo's arm was like his forearm was actually gone like some of the parts of the turtles were gone obviously all their accessories were missing and I found out that um Nickelodeon is making a uh, special like an animated special based off of these toys like the turtles they go back in time obviously and they meet up with dinosaurs and they get to ride their same dinosaurs that you see here and that that just hit me right in the geek spot so over the last few months I was collecting these and I've had these guys for a while now but I finally decided to uh, to do a review for you guys so you guys could check them out so as always we're gonna start off with the leader himself Leonardo alright guys here we have Leonardo and his <clears throat> dinghy dino yes that is literally what they decided to call this guy I don't know why they didn't just call him like the tenacious triceratops or something but this is his dinghy dino. So real quick, we're gonna look at the uh, his triceratops real quick, and he is like the heaviest out of all of these guys. Very, very hard, thick plastic, pretty much on everything. Um, no paint detail on the toes, however. Get this like cool like scaly bit. <laughs> excuse me, scaly bit going down here. Um, the saddle is removable, which is actually thought was kind of cool. Um. Obviously, I'm not going to bother taking that off, but saddle in it itself is nicely detailed. It has a cool, like, almost the turtle shell pattern going on. All the sh all the saddles are slightly different, you know, because each dinosaur is a different size, different, you know, width and what have you. And I just think they look really cool. Just this flat, almost terracotta kind of color. Uh, uh, not a whole lot of articulation on the Triceratops himself. He can't really move his legs at all. Um, the head can move a little bit, but because he has these head spikes, and because of like the uh, saddle, it gets in the way a little bit. But if you kind of pull it back a bit, you can kind of get him to a particular little head back and forth. But not too bad. No, not a whole lot there. But a Triceratops is my favorite dinosaur. I absolutely love this guy. Um, unfortunately, Leonardo is technically my least favorite of the turtle, so that's a bittersweet thing for me. Um, like I said, not a whole lot. Oh, each dinosaur comes with a stirrup. You know, they go into the mouth, and they just kind of... Just kind of hold them like that, you know, and then you put the turtle on top, and they hold on to it. Well, I'll show that off at the end of the video. No sense in really going to that now. So, we'll stick him over to the side. I'll show off Leonardo. Now, Leo, uh, these guys, they come with the, uh, the, uh, the stirrup. The other accessory that come in is they each come with two weapons. Now, they have like a... Uh, like a more caveman version of their signature weapons. Leo comes with a sword. It looks like it's made out of stone and it's got a bone for the handle here. And those are pretty cool, but I don't ever pose these guys with their signature weapons. I like to go for their caveman weapons and Leonardo's caveman weapon is a club. Looks cool, it's got the little spike down here, it's got a little splatted lizard there on the side and Leo can hold those alright 
Now these guys have the same great magical articulation that a lot of the older Ninja Turtles figures have. You can rotate the arms all the way around. They have these weird, I don't even know if these are ball joints or whatever, but you get a weird little range of motion here and there's no like swivels or anything at the, the knees or anything. But kind of get them to sit flat however you feel like posing them. And like some of the other, like the other Ninja Turtle figures I reviewed, he's got the, the the right arm has a swivel above the elbow, and the left arm. Oh wait, this one also has a swivel above the elbow. So this Leonardo is a little bit different than the others. Let me double check. Yeah, Leonardo is different from the other turtles. So again, I'll I'll show you guys later on, but. Yeah, Leonardo is slightly different because he has both upper elbow swivels, so that's a little bit different. He does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet, but uh, something else Leo has or doesn't have are his pupils. Like the rest of the turtles, they have black pupils, but Leo still has like that classic no pupil look that pretty much all of the... I'm looking at my other figures. There isn't a single Ninja Turtle that has a pupil. But she's got that kind of classic look. And if you just kind of look at like the face, he's got little freckles there. His nose is a little bit more bulbous. Arms are obviously a lot more thicker. Up top here, the legs are a little bit stumpier, so he's a little st st stocky. This has that, it has that uh, caveman look. And I really, really like that a lot. But to get a comparison, here he is next to the 80s classic Leonardo. Oh, he stands a little bit shorter. And he isn't the same color. He's he's almost the same color as Raph. He just has like that very greenish color. And here he is compared to the... Whoop, Compared to the other, my, one of my other favorite turtle sets is the uh, Universal Movie Monsters Wolfman Leonardo. So he's, the, these are these are a little bit shorter, but obviously they're supposed to be cavemen. So yeah, I like these guys a lot. I'm taking a little closer look at Leonardo. They got a lot of nice texturing going on, as always, you know, all the muscles look really good. You can tell like what the different fabrics are, like he's got this Flintstone style loincloth over here. You know, all their letters are generally like made of stone or whatever, he's got a little necklace here. You know, like their elbow pads are made of fur. You know, not too bad. Leonardo has done very nicely. There's a couple, like, nicks in the shell. I don't know how well they'll show up on camera, but it looks pretty good. And to get a better idea of what he kind of looks like on the Triceratops, you know, he kind of sits in it all right, you know. You might have to, like, finagle his... Whoop! <laughs> might have to finagle his legs a little bit if you want them to sit, like, on, like, the foot piece. But, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good. Let me get a little bit of a closer look. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him quite a bit. So, now we will move on to the next turtle. And here we have Cave Don and his trippy T-Rex. Again, these are such this cool looking figure. I don't know why Don got the T-Rex. I feel like either Leo or Raph should have gotten the T-Rex, but whatever. It's 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 cool. Uh, I'm looking at the, uh, the T-Rex itself is made out of like a very hollow plastic. He's a lot lighter than uh, any of the other guys. He's still pretty cool. Uh, another thing, for some reason. Uh, the Triceratops doesn't have this little stamp, this TMNT on it over there. Don't know why, but very nice, much shinier looking. Like I said, it's like a different kind of plastic. Um, 
There is no articulation in any other part of his body other than the head. That can actually go 360. Again, if you look at the uh, the saddle here, nice, hard, nice, uh, it's kind of rubbery plastic. Got a slightly different look to it than Leo's. Um, for some reason, this bit of the tail down here is like that chipped off of my original one that I had. Looks pretty cool. I mean, you can tell like these spots are painted on kind of randomly. Like they're kind of supposed to go in like the little cracks of the skin, but they don't. Not for all of them, obviously. But he's pretty tall. So I kind of have to put him in the back there. And here is Donnie, looking cool. Cool and cool. Here's his bow staff, which is in like this tan wooden color. You know, which makes sense. Very rubbery. Very bendy, very rubbery. You know, it's a bow staff. Doesn't look <laughs> I mean, it looks more rugged than his other bow staffs. But his other weapon is a mace. Yeah. No, not too bad. Looks pretty cool. I think it's made of a vine or something. I don't know, but I think it's cool. I like to put this one with Mikey, just because I feel like, out of all like the other weapons, this one kind of would, you know, he'd be swinging it around, you know. So I feel like that one, you know, mimics the, the nunchucks a little bit more. And I like to give Donnie this. It's a spear that comes with wrath. So I feel, obviously, it's a big stick, so it mimics the bow staff a little bit better. But, that's just me. Huh, okay, so I lied. Uh, Donnie also has both upper, but upper elbow swivels, so that's a little bit different. Which actually makes it a little bit harder for him. To hold his weapons like the way you would normally want him to do it but yeah same basic articulation um, he has this cool little uh, hat um, on the back here like they make it look like it's kind of like part of the pelt but I kind of like the way they did that too it, it's two different colored plastics this is a much more softer rubbery plastic this is like the more hard plastic on the figure but and it 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 uh, flips up very nice. This actually can come off. I think it's just glued on there. But, um, yeah, like this little paw up here is uh, slightly heightened because I generally have him looking like that a lot. But it's not too bad. I think it looks pretty cool. I like how it has like the little side part here. There's a bandana coming out in there. Now the tan, this tannish orange color, I think it complements uh, Donnie's like olive green a little bit more. Oh, he's got a little, he actually has a little tomahawk here. This little rope going all the way around. He's got these, uh, the boots. I like how they did these boots, like with the ties. Look really nice. And we'll just kind of throw Donnie up here. Yeah, there we go. Move the camera just a bit. Because he, <laughs> T-Rex is really tall. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. I find that he's actually the hardest one to like get the stirrup in the mouth and have him hold on to it. It's because it's like going down whoops, sorry. Going down like at an incline, so it doesn't necessarily hold very well, but I managed to figure it out. But yeah, like it just uh, I just I love these figures so much. Sorry if I'm gushing a little bit. But yeah, this is this is Donnie and his T-Rex, so now we will move along to Raphael. Okay guys, now here is Cave Raph with his tubular pterodactyl. This is the only one of these figures I did not have as a kid. You know, I thought it was, I felt kind of sad. I, I, I never had the Raphael figures, I don't know why. Just, I, th I always thought um, Leo and Mikey were the most popular, but in my neighborhood, it apparently was Raphael. Um, I think the Raphael... I, 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 I'll get into Raphael in a minute. I'm going to set him to the side. 
Uh, we'll take a look at his tubular pterodactyl. This guy, he has a lot of weird components to him. Like his bot, like his tail is made of like a softer plastic. Same thing goes with his arms. Oh yeah, and this this arm kind of falls off sometimes. But he actually has a little bit of articulation. You can I don't know how to actually move his wings 360. You can kind of flap them up and down. And this wing is a lot harder to do than the other one, so I kind of don't like screw around with it. You know, plus this one kind of pops out a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Pop it back in there, no big deal. Um, unfortunately, they made his feet out of like the soft plastic, so like it just kind of bends and like he doesn't stand up very well. So Raph always just kind of pushes on him. So it, it's kind of hard. Like hopefully I can choose some hot water or something to kind of like lean him back a bit. Um, his head also swivels 360. And his tail doesn't move. Now his stirrup is different, or stir I'm sorry, his saddle is different than the other turtles. Obviously the way you get it into his mouth, the stirrup into his mouth, is you put through that little hole there. You know, Raph can hang on to that, but because of like the odd angle he's at, Raph has a hole in his back. You put this little peg in there and he kind of sits on it kind of weirdly, which I'll we'll get to in a little bit. But yeah, this guy. The, the Raph is so hard to get, guys. Like, all the other guys, all the other turtles and their dinosaurs I got in the same, like, when I bought them. Same package when I bought them on eBay. I had to get the I had to get the pterodactyl and Raph in two separate auctions. Like, finding him complete, or at least f finding Raph... All his weapons, just finding the weapons, like, was ridiculous. But I was able to do it. And I'm very happy to finally get these guys, so. Um, oh, I just got to talk about, like, the texturing stuff. Very cool, like, a lot of, like, very scaly, very, like, lizard-like. Very weird that the his claws are kind of upside down on the top of his wings, but he's got all these weird veins in the wings. The head looks all right. But, uh, yeah. Looks really cool. Get a little bit of a close-up there. He's got a little bit of paint wear on him, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Still looks really nice on the shelf, and that's really what matters, so... I'll put him out of the way, I'll go grab Raph. Raph, I think... I don't know, like... Especially in his face, he looks like the best in terms of like looking like a caveman. He just has like a very flat head. I think that looks good. I like his like snow leopard pelt, which I guess is what that's supposed to be. He's got little boots. Although they kind of screwed up on the paint job here because his toe's supposed to be sticking out there. He's got these bones for his elbow pads. I just realized he's the only turtle to not have his same colored elbow pads. I just realized that. So, that's kind of neat. That making them all different. Which is kind of nice for a change. And he's got little actual belt buckle here. The R. Got a bone necklace. You can see his little back hole there. Like I said with... Uh, I said with uh, Donnie, he comes with the spear for his caveman weapon, which looks pretty good because, you know, like he'll be striking off his pterodactyl. And, of course, it comes with a little sigh. Doesn't really look too different from any other. You can kind of tell it's made out of bone, I guess, stone or bone, something like that. So, I'll show you guys real quick. You got it's kind of line his butt up with the hole it's kind of weird just because you kind of want like the feet to be like on the feet section so yeah 
it's not too bad. But you kind of, you kind of want him to like be looking to the sides. It's a little hard for him to like hold the stirrup. But uh, I don't know, it's not too bad. A little disappointed. But again, still looks good on the shelf with the rest of the turtles, so you can't complain. So, last but not least, we'll go on to my favorite turtle, Michelangelo. And here is Cave Mikey and his silly Stegosaurus. Oh, God. Like, <laughs> uh, this is interesting. Like, I think this is a perfect matchup for Mikey. If you guys are dinosaur fans, you'll know why. Stegosaurus is supposed to have the tiniest brains or small brains of any dinosaur. But, um, so kind of a good fit for Mikey, but his body is made up of that same hollow plastic. He's kind of like, again, he's like the pterodactyl. He's a little bit combined with the different kinds of plastic. He has the hollow body similar to the Tyrannosaurus. His head, his, uh, sails... And his tail are like a very soft, rubbery plastic. But, um, I don't know why he has a club. Like, the, like I assume they goofed. Like, that's supposed to be like an ankylosaurus. It still has the spikes, but Stegosaurus only had spikes on their tail. Anyway, still looks cool. I really like it. Like, the whole purple and green is a rather big contrast to, to the other dinosaurs. Like, where they, they kind of melted in nicely. You know, uh, the T-Rex was orange, but uh, Donnie had a lot of tan on him. And plus, with the yellow on his shell, it just kind of worked nicely. This one is just kind of off-putting. Again, no other articulation on the dinosaur other than his head. And he's got the stirrups here. Or, I'm sorry, I keep calling that the stirrups. It's a saddle. And this has a lot more of a leather look to it. It has, like, a completely different look. It doesn't have, like, that turtle shell look. It actually looks like a like a regular saddle. So, kind of, it's kind of nice. But, um, yeah, obviously my old one, like, the tail is missing on it. Like, it just has a little stump there. You can kind of see, like, in the changes in the color and the plastic that's different. But, again, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, with Michelangelo, like I said, I like to keep him with the, uh, with the mace that Donnie comes with. And this is the tomahawk that I like to give to Raphael. Because, I don't know, again, it's a short, close-range weapon. Figured it was better suited for Raphael. This is his nunchuck. And it had a bone and rope, I guess. But, like, I guess I forgot to mention it with Raph. He and Mikey's weapons are the same color as his skin. And to me, I don't like that. I, it, it just doesn't look right. So, I ended up changing them anyway. Regardless. Just because I thought those weapons looked better for the other turtles. Uh, Mikey's. <laughs> Mikey is pretty cool. Like, he actually has, like, a detachable skirt. Just kind of pegged in right there. And it's just kind of loosely sitting on him. So, you can kind of, like, move move him around a little bit like his articulation isn't really hindered by it at all in fact it kind of benefits from it because we just kind of do this to make it make his pants fall down that's kind of funny um <laughs> he's got the little skull necklace which is kind of weird i like how for his bandana he has like a little tie in the bandana to make it kind of look like hair like a headhunter almost but now, this is really odd. He has an upper upper elbow swivel on the right. Over here, he has a wrist swivel. I, I don't know. I really don't get that. But, whatever. That's Michelangelo. I have him just kind of sitting up on his stegosaurus. Riding into battle, going to find some Stone Age pizzas. Yeah, fucking love these guys. All right, guys. Uh, before I end this video, I will show you guys what they all look like sitting on their mounts. How I generally display them. 
Uh, I just realized that I didn't show the comparisons with the, any of the other figures, but you guys get the gist of it. Like, they're a little bit, they're a little shorter than the other figures. I didn't want to make this a ridiculously long video, but yeah, you guys get the general idea of what they look like compared to the other figures. But uh, yeah, I will finish it up in just a second. I want to show you guys what they look like riding their dinosaurs, holding their weapons. So, I'll be back in just a sec. And here is all four of the Cavemen Ninja Turtles standing together on their dino mounts, looking awesome. And as you can see, you know, I did change up the weapons like I said I would. Just, I, I feel like these weapons just complement, you know, the original weapons a little bit better. You know, I also like the fact that, you know, they look all different, you know, where Mikey's and Raph's were the same clothes their skin. Raph's is still a little weird, you can, it's kind of hard to tell from that far away, but he's holding the tomahawk there. Oh god, I just love these figures so much. I'm so happy to finally have them in my collection. Uh, tell me what you guys think about these particular figures. Let me know if there's any other rare Ninja Turtle figures you think I should get. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the Star Trek series, I will most likely get the Star Trek Turtles because I think they're super cool. Um, other than that, I'm not sure of too many other like themed sets that they have out there. But anyway guys, I am Super Chudge Funk. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become a member of the Cheesecake Nation today. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.